My brothers and sisters, what's going on? Steel Sermon in the house. And I'm currently recording this on Tuesday morning. I hope to get this video out either Wednesday or later tonight. We'll uh, play it by year. But yeah, as I always say, if you're enjoying the channel, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me down on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are posted down in the description box below. So yeah, in this one, I'm just going to be giving a little bit of take of mine and something else that I got out of uh, Sunday's game preseason finale against Detroit. Let's talk about Mark Robinson a little bit. I mentioned him in my post game. Mark Robinson is becoming quite a fan favorite over here in Pittsburgh and for really good reasons. Um, this guy is a late round draft pick. I believe we got him in the seventh round and he's been getting a lot of comparisons to uh, Vince Williams a lot lately, you know, with him being that late round guy and, you know, making a case in preseason, becoming a hard worker. It's easy to see why, you know, with him playing inside linebacker and him making a couple great plays, especially in the Jaguar game and uh, even a couple of really good plays against Detroit. So it's very easy to see why that this guy's been a fan favorite here lately. And I feel like, you know, if anyone is to replace Devin Bush because, let's face it, all right, I don't think Devin Bush is going to be here next year unless he does a complete 180 with his um, with his play style and with his approach because, you know, he, he's been a lazy slug for the past year and a half or so since coming off that injury. But Mark Robinson has really stepped up to the range. You know, I'm never an excuse guy. I'm never the kind of guy that says that gets on fans about, well, we don't have this guy on the field or we don't have that guy on the field, okay? I don't get on those fans because those are facts, okay? We have dealt with injuries, but, you know, so does every other team. We're not the only team in the league that deals with injuries. So I don't get on those fans that say that use injuries as an excuse because those are facts. I just don't do it because I'm a next man up kind of guy. And to see Mark Robinson come in and just absolutely ball out like he's got nothing to lose, that's the type of attitude that I'm that we're all looking for here in Pittsburgh, man. This guy just plays like a Pittsburgh Steeler, you know? He really does. He like I said in my post game, I believe I said, this guy is looking like what Devin Bush was supposed to be. But I mean, just by looking at his physical structure and his physical tools and his development already, not even, what, five months into him being on the team. First of all, he was a converted running back to a linebacker, so that in itself is really impressive. So I think the wheels on him and his speed and his agility, that right there is going to be the biggest game changer right there. We said the same thing about Devin Bush, sure, sure, because he had great wheels and he had great speed, he had great athleticism. But the difference is Mark Robinson just plays harder, and he hits harder than Devin Bush does too. He's not afraid to go in there and make a play and be able to reposition his body like Devin Bush is. So that alone is a great story in Mark Robinson already. The way that he's able to just diagnose plays and the way that he's able to get a great read on the ball, whether it's a check down or a slant pass across the middle, this guy has a great eye for the game. And that's something, you know, that we're looking forward here desperately with this interior because, you know, not that I think it's going to translate to the regular season. I hope it doesn't. But if you saw this interior against the run this preseason, it was sad. It was pathetic. We need someone in that interior linebacker role to be able to stop this run and to be able to not allow backs to get big gashes on us and Mark Robinson's doing everything that he possibly can like I said he's a very hard hitter too very athletic very good you know very good eye for the game I think the only things that he really needs to to polish up on is his coverage he needs a little bit more you know a little bit more of a feel for the coverage and he just needs to work on some basic fundamentals still but, you know, overall, I, I see a gem, I see another hidden gem that the Steelers took in the draft, man. And I think a lot of other that's what a lot of other fans are saying in the sky as well. But I think the biggest thing, the biggest advantage that Mark Robinson has coming over here to develop is that his defensive assistant is Brian Flores. 
Brian Flores has done a phenomenal job with developing linebackers, especially when he was uh, down in Miami being the head coach of the Dolphins. And Brian Flores is a good defensive-minded coach, and I think that with him being the defensive assistant, he's going to be a little, he's going to be a big ear whisper to Terrell Austin, which makes me a little bit more comfortable with Terrell Austin calling the shots on defense now that he has this guy whispering to him. So, yeah, you know, with a defensive assistant that likes to develop and polish up linebackers, and he's a linebacker guru. That makes me very excited for this guy, Mark Robinson, to come in here. And, you know, like I said, with this physical structure, I think the guy is six foot on the dot, little too small to be a linebacker, but I don't think that's really that much of a concern. Kind of similar to Devin Bush, as I said, but he just plays harder than Devin Bush does. And the fact that this guy was already getting reps over guys like Buddy Johnson and Robert Spillane, who I don't really think are necessary to this team because Buddy Johnson's been looking like a total bust so far. And Robert Spillane, he's purely a goal line linebacker. He's not the kind of linebacker that'll, you know, play in deep coverage or zone coverage or whatever. He's a goal line linebacker. He's the kind of guy where if you need to stop at the goal line, that's him. Mark Robinson can do everything better than those guys combined. And I think he plays better than Devin Bush. So honestly, if this guy develops and he proves that he is the truth for this interior, I think that takes a lot of pressure. I think that alleviates a lot of pressure off the Steelers for next year's draft because we all know, aside from O-line, interior linebacker is the biggest hole on this team and let alone on the defense. So yeah, Mark Robinson... I want to see him get I want to see him get some playing time in this regular season and I feel like that you platoon him at least right now with Miles Jack because Devin Bush he has to prove himself because this is a prove it year for him he has to prove himself. But yeah, Mark Robinson, I want to see this guy have some playing time when the regular season comes around. Let's see what you got. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is Steel Sermon checking on out for the day. May God be with you all.